The proper decontamination and removal of your Level B ensemble is essential in order to prevent contamination of your body, that of your coworkers, and even your family. The exact procedures followed will depend on the specifics of the site and are identified in the site safety plan's decontamination procedure. Although site-specific procedures may vary, everyone exiting the hot zone must pass through what is called the contamination reduction zone. In this zone, a series of stations are established that personnel must visit in sequence. At the initial stations, the most highly contaminated items are removed or cleaned. The least contaminated items are removed last. You must not skip any stations or visit them out of sequence. Let's observe a typical doffing sequence of a Level B ensemble. As you exit the hot or exclusion zone, the equipment that you have been using is dropped, typically on plastic sheets or in drums. At the first station, the most contaminated items, your outer gloves and boots, are washed and then rinsed with the help of a dolphin assistant. If you are wearing boot coverings, they are removed next along with any special outer gloves. At the next station, your whole body is first washed and then rinsed. Next, with the help of a doffing assistant, the face piece regulator is disconnected, the bottled air is shut off, and your SCBA backpack and tank or airline escape bottle is removed. While wearing just your face piece, the suit is washed and then rinsed a second time. After this wash and rinse, your boots and outer gloves, if not attached to the suit, are removed. This is followed by the removal of your chemical splash suit. At the last station, your face piece is removed and then your inner gloves. And now it is time to shower and participate in medical monitoring. My name is Joel Crooks. I'm with the Operating Engineers Local 542. I'm a health and safety instructor and also I'm a heavy equipment instructor. I've been with the JTC program now for 10 years and I have 24 years in the local as an operating engineer.